I, I had, um, I ran yesterday and I, I could see the flag, and then I kept going, kept going, kept going, and, uh, and then I saw the flag again. Um, in fact, oh, what I'll do is I'll post in our, um, I'll post in our channel, uh, where are we? Documents. I think when we ran, I, I believe we would keep it about four kilometers, any escort, at least four kilometers away. And that was, I believe, two center radians for a, it should be two center radians on a, uh, on a flower. All right, so I've just posted a picture. That's what she looked like down the Uzo. Um, and that was about a split second before she saw me. And that was at around about maybe three kilometers range. You can even see the flag. Uh, what direction were you facing? I was heading straight to her. Straight towards her? Yeah. Uh, they did mention that your uh, yes. orientation towards or away or uh, basically your cross section, visible cross section of your boat does have to do with your visibility. That's right, I remember that now. Yeah. <coughs> that would that would have that would have enabled us to get a fair bit closer. Much closer, closer, yes. Much closer, yeah. Very good point. Just trying to think. Yeah, I just kept going and going and going. I'm thinking, oh, come on, you've got to see me now. You've got to see me now. And then, yeah, a moment later, the star shell went up. Um, oh, I think <laughs> I think Richie thinks. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let him think that that's what we're doing right now. Okay. Okay. okay focus. 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 Uh, all right. I would say. That flower is. We're going about the same speed as that escort. Five knots. Uh, that will only matter if they if we are parallel to them. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, no way of knowing. Yeah, hence the qualification of about. Um, it does look pretty close to parallel course, actually. They're not getting much bigger or Well, smaller. it's a flower. It's going to change, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep pottering along here for a while and see if they get substantially closer or further away. <laughs> oh yeah, he can't help himself. <laughs> it's in his blood. It is. And it's a good thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> um so that's either a rear escort or a front escort. Oh, that's right. It's pretty nice, isn't it? So no side escorts here. No side escorts. Right. I've been getting mm -hmm. them. I've been getting them in 1939. In hard, yeah, you're gonna get. The only thing is, it just different years it increases the number of, of escorts. And Not necessarily what position. Well, mm, mm, the tactics change. That's for sure. Yeah, he's he's. We're staying pretty constant in terms of. Um, in terms of distance and speed, 
What was our speed? Um, please help. I think it was, say, five knots. Uh, no, 7.2. Thank you. And our current uh, heading is two. 240. 40 miles, thank you. Well, until such a time, I'm going to say that's, that's that's the best estimate I have of the. Uh, I'm just going to try and get a distance approximate. Uh, the height of a funnel on a flower is what, 12 meters? Funnel, I believe so. Uh, Sounds right. So 12 meters at one center radian is an approximate distance of 64 hectometers. So Nav, we've got a flower at um, distance plus minus 64 hectometers at relative bearing 301. Relative bearing 301? Correct. Until we confirm otherwise, um, put him on the same course as us at about the same speed. Hello there. Damn it. Hit other stuff I need to do. Now I gotta figure out this because I'm curious. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I didn't want to say because. Um, <laughs> that's, actu that's actually not a picture from uh, from the current mission. I was illustrating a point from a previous patrol I went on. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> but I, you know, I was going to say something, but um, but uh, but I withheld because I knew that was going <laughs> to mess with you. <laughs> So, uh, Helm, bring us to a new course of 2-1-0, please. We're just going to inch a little bit closer. 2-1-0, right? I should say, you, fr you freaking dick. <laughs> <laughs> and up to slow speed as well, please, Helm. Okay, we've got a merchant. Slow speed, right? I was just um I was just I just posted that one Richie just to show how close I got um before uh, before the flower um, noticed me in a previous mission. Fair enough. Yeah. Slow speed. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, Fourteen divided by two and a half. <laughs> Three and a half. Five and six. Shall like, what, 2,000 meters? Backslash. Back to a course of 240, please. Uh, dead slow. 240, dead slow. I.
uh, to 15. Uh, too far. 298, two turns. Boom. New course 240 at dead slow. Oh, there you go. 7.2 knots. I need to jump back because I think my door, my dogs are being idiots downstairs. So, good luck, gents. Bye. Right, thanks, Richie. Take it easy. I would help, but my dogs are being idiots, and I can hear them breaking things. <laughs> okay. See you then. Have fun. Thanks. Okay, we got ourselves. That was the that was the flower again. No, that was the light merchant number fifteen. Light merchant type fifteen. Copy that. B. That's right. Thank you. That. There's another light version in the back. God damn it. And we've got some in the front though, Yammers. They look a bit bigger. That's King. Oh, yes. Ma King Funnel Mast Ma. Oh, I think we got ourselves a heavy tanker, gents. King. Oh boy. Mast Mast. Ah, <laughs> uh, looks like it's 511. Yep, heavy tank in time 11, 13, 9, 5, 7, 9. LM15. Uh, what was the one you just mentioned there? Ah, the one I just mentioned is heavy tanker type 11. Heavy tanker 11, and you have a range and bearing to that one? I will give you that shortly. Uh, I hate it when the masts don't match the center radius. Also, if you can get me the, uh, or if you can use it. I have two monitors, but when I tab out, it minimizes this whole thing, so I can't actually do that very easily. Yeah, it does the same for me, unless you do all the same things. That usually just annoys me, though, having the bar at the bottom. Oh, no, it's true. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's, that's actually good. Um, okay, I've got a range and uh, relative bearing. Uh, and the range is 
Let's do a chorus 272. Slow speed. Age. Which means we are going. Still climbing? No, we're moving dead on 10 knots. Okay. I'm going to give you a new range and bearing on the heavy tanker type 11. Uh, one second. Yep. Okay. Range, 67 hectometers. Relative bearing, 278. 67 hectometers at 278. Correct. Pretty happy with those distance measurements, so that I'm thinking should give you their their course. That puts them uh, pretty much due west. Okay. Which would parallel us now. We'd be paralleling them now. Very good. Okay, we'll plug. Which I was gonna say would make sense with what we had earlier. I knew it was gonna be closer to where we are now rather than uh, 240 since we were getting closer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's what we're falling into place. Thankfully, our heavy tank has got some nice big king posts that should give us a easy angle of uh, Right. New lead escort sighted. Uh, looks like a bit of Relative bearing 294. 294, and do you have a range on that? Uh, so 294. I'm gonna guess he's probably 68. Yeah. Don't worry about it, than it is. I was just going to put it on there if you had it. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you something. I'll give you something. It's going to be a big margin of error and say... It's Fifty-three? Is that what you came up with? Fifty-three hectometers? That should be, That would be very close. Well, like a kilometer closer than either the yeah, of the other numbers that we've got. Closer to closer to 63, 64. Okay. Yeah. That I would believe. Yeah. No, it's, I'm having difficulty. 60, uh, 64 at what bearing? Currently at 2.9, 3.5. That I can believe, because that would put her probably directly in front of, or pretty close to, in front of the light merchant. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Alright, so we've got uh, You have a range and bearing on the, uh, the flower. I'll get that for you. Now we're going to go with 53 hectometers at relative bearing 266. 53 at 266. Okay. So, Alright, so given we've got a lead escort, we've got an escort on the right hand uh, side. Sorry, Emmers? Captain? Yep. Um, I can just barely see it, but behind the light merchant that is behind the flower, I can just barely see a, com a composite merchant. Um, she looks heavy. She's now disappearing behind the flower, though. 
copy that, I see it as well. Looks like she's got a funnel at the back. Yes. Could be another heavy tanker. Mm. Alright, so I guess we have a we have a few options here. One, we continue continue ahead and overhaul and then put ourselves into position. Two, we fall back and swing around to the port side of the convoy, see if they've got a um, an escort over the other side. Um, yeah. I personally wouldn't know what that other tanker is. We can get. Ship is. We can get significantly closer to. We should be good another two kilometers in. We should be. Okay, good. Um. All right. Bring us twenty degrees port, please. No. Twenty degrees port. I. New course will be two five zero. Copy that. New course two five zero. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we got a new lead merchant vessel as well. See if I can give you a new range and uh, position on that heavy tanker. Uh, three, I think it's another light version. No, wait. No. Okay, heavy tanker distance. Um, I'm getting 53.5 hectometers at 294 relative bearing. Okay, yeah, that's another light version. Damn. At what was that bearing? 294? 294 relative. Captain, I'd like to file a formal complaint and say that this is a very disappointing convoy. That's right, we just need one big one. Uh, Helm, bring us back to a course of 270 when you're ready, please. We'll do... This convoy is full of disappointments. <laughs> uh, I don't think that measurement was right. Yeah, uh, I need to take that again. Hold on. That's right. Uh, what you said, uh, back to 270, right? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Sorry, I'll, um, Yamas, if you can, um, jump on help, um, in case of, uh, any... I got it. ...any movements, so no. that'll give, uh, nuts to the freedom to, to do nav. That'd be great, thanks. Alright. Alright. 270, right then. Thank you kindly. Alright, so I'm gonna give you a new, a new distance on that. Tango. Actually, yep, uh, new distance on that tanker of 60.5 hectometers. 60.5 at relative bearing 273. Does that make sense? Uh, hold on. Sixty point five at two seven three. Yeah. That would make much more sense. Okay. Very good. I still think it's a little on the short side, but at this range, I'm not going to complain. But that makes much more sense than uh, being in line with the outer escort. Yeah. No, that's good. Um, Yamas, can you uh, hop on the TDC for me, please? If we're going to guess that they're. Uh, that their course was 270, then that would only put their uh, that particular measurement off by about 36, uh, 
360 meters as opposed to the first one, which would have been closer to a kilometer. Yeah, no, that's, I was unhappy with my first one. I was basing it on the the, uh, the stern mast, which uh, is a bit, bit dodgy to look at. Okay, um, Helm, uh, actually, uh, Nutstar, while... It, Oh no, actually, Yammers, Yammers, uh, you're next to the um, next to the thing. Bring us back down to dead slow speed. Okay. Once you've done that, jump on the TDC. I'm going to give you an angle of bow. Angle on bow. Uh, for AP or Uzo? Um, we'll put it on the Uzo current at the moment. There. Okay. Yep. Um, set her at 90 degrees starboard. Thank you kindly. And uh, ninety degrees now. Um, ninety degrees now. Okay, and you see, don't move the. Two seven two point one. Okay. My oh no, that's not right. Two seven two. I can see another heavy tank at Yamas. He isn't the tank for me, is he? No, I think it's type type 18. 14,254. Yes. Yeah, Our core system was pretty damn good, actually. Their course is 272. 272, okay, great. Please bring us to a new heading of 472. Uh, course 272. 272, please help. 272, I All two degrees that I need to go. Uh huh. Um, what was the sorry. type 18? Heavy tanker type 18. Tonnage is 14254 tons. 14254? Four, four. Correct. I mean, it's only 300 tons difference. Yeah, it's going to come down to position. Uh, yeah, definitely. Which one's the easier shot? Because it's not going to make any other difference. I just want to get tonnage, boys. Yes. After, uh, yeah, after last time. Actually, bring yes. us, bring us, uh, we we'll just, just make sure we maintain a bit of distance, please. Bring us to a heading of 280. 280, right. Thank you. Just to, just to allay my, my to paranoia. So, oh, there's a message from Stoss. He will be joining us in about five minutes. Fantastic. So we won't do anything rash until then. Spiffy at the bit. If you'd like to grab some air, you're welcome to come up and take a look at the convoy. We're not going to be doing anything too drastic. Uh, get a bit of 
fresh air. Yeah, I usually don't nice. mind. I I usually like being at my nav table because that sets and stuff like that. But. All right, that's it's all good. Your choice. <laughs> <laughs> when people so usually when uh, when people talk about doing that, you know, having a watch on on the deck and stuff, it's like, yeah, I'll be I'll stay down at my nav table. Oh, it's yeah. fine because most people want to be up on the deck. It's like or bored sitting around in the in the ship. And I'm like, no, I'll I'll, I'll sit down here. Oh, yeah. Especially for like crash crash dive drills, mm -hmm. we want at least two people below. Oh, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. More than welcome to stay hunched <laughs> over your over your maps and compasses. But it's a cool map and compass. Oh yeah, the very nice compass. Oh yeah, it's a lot of money. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm glad you brought that compass along. It's very nice. All right. Got a very nice crown. With a gecko on it. <laughs> and gecko. Okay. Avoid any misfires. Actually, what we're going to do. Um, Helm, please bring us to an all stop. And let me know when we're at zero speed. I'm going to get a. Um, speed measurement even though I think we're pretty much tracking the same speed just to confirm it's about five, five meters And we are now at zero knots. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. And then, uh, Nutsta, after I've done my calculation, I'll get you to jump on the Uzo and uh, make a calculation as well, please. Calculation on speed. range? Uh, speed. speed. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've got them. I can get on the, uh, I'll use the ape. Sure. Uh, which ship are we looking at here? Uh, whichever one you like. Um, we should have a few of them well, lined up in the... You can do the heavy tank at Type 11 if you like. And that is... King Mass Mast Funnel, or... Wait. Yes. The one with the stack. I don't even see the funnel on that one. Where is the uh, funnel? It's King Funnel Mast Mast. Currently at our 267 relative. Okay, that is the one I'm looking at. Oh boy, I can't hardly see it. Um, you can pick a close one if you like. We have got the Light Merchant Type 15 as well. I'll do this again. Let's see if I can do this heavy tanker. Oh, <coughs> oh hey, Stoss. Just getting the mod sorted here. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Plenty of time. Yeah, I miss. Not too much, just tracking the convoy. Length on that heavy tanker. Heavy tanker, type 11, length 155 meters. Mm. 
I got 7.9 knots. Very good, me too. I got 7.9 and 8 knots um, when I did the light match. So we'll go 7.95 knots. <laughs> um, do, you, do you need another hand with the spreadsheet or are you guys good? Uh, I, think, I think we should be good. We should be good. good? Okay. Um, Helm, bring us back to dead slow speed, please. Dead slow, eh? Uh, 7.9 knots is laid in to target speed as well. Very good. Thank or, you. well, basically eight at that point. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay. So, get you to set the, um, we're not going to mess around with this one. We'll do a salvo shot of all three fields. Shoot it already. Oh, not yet. Just setting the TDC. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll wait for you. Full steam, huh? Okay. <laughs> you want to do another range and bearing? Um, on the heavy tanker? Yes. Well, actually, I did. Wait, I don't think we ever did one on 18, but if you can do 11, that would. Hopefully we did we did a bit of a tidy up before you got here. Um, Looks nice. You guys have been keeping uh, keeping it pretty uh, pretty clean and uh, pretty orderly in here. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no wild banana dances going on in the bow room, so that's good. <laughs> Not yet. Yet. Not yet. If we if we get this if we get this uh, this heavy tanker, then I cannot promise. No uh, inappropriate gyrations happening at the chart table. <laughs> <laughs> All is good. Again, not not yet. Only when I'm really excited. <laughs> Pure does not approve, but since we're out at sea, well. <laughs> what happens at sea stays, stays at sea. At sea. Yeah. That's number <laughs> one rule. Luna <laughs> looks out for his men and understands that you know the hardships at sea. So. <laughs> it's uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've only been out for a few days, and already uh, it's <laughs> right. That's true. Doesn't take long. It's, it's not, yeah, right. right. <laughs> okay, right. So, so you are doing surface shooting, or I think we're going to do a. Um, I think we are going to be doing a, um, a submerged shot today. We've, we're on the we're on the starboard okay. side of the convoy. We've got a starboard escort. Um, flower, and we have a lead escort in a bittern um, currently sighted. So, right. So I will. I'm just going to plan on throwing open the negative on torpedo shot. But I guess what is your? I want to stick with your SOP as well. So I guess what is your typical SOP for for how you like to see it as a skipper? Oh, um, yeah. So usually when because we'll be letting loose all three at once, so we'll, we'll need ah, to be so, on that okay. pretty quick. Yep. Um, so yep. normally uh, dyslexic he he throws open the um, the front main ballast he opens that okay. right up straight away and that that seems to take care of it and I think that um, that stabilizes the boat yeah. yeah and for for a salvo that's probably appropriate because uh, obviously you're not going to shoot any subsequent shots so having the ballast tank open is not an issue so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I mean so yeah. yeah. Because you can't shoot it open, but since it only have three tubes anyway, it doesn't make a difference. So that's right. Yeah, and then we'll go to um right. when we do the shot at periscope depth, we'll go to about yeah thirteen and a half meters. I am flooding the negative right now, so unless you want unless you want it blown. 
No, that's fine. That'll get us under um, quicker when we need to. Okay. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Alright, now that we're all on board... What I'm gonna do... Okay, Nav, I'm gonna give you a, um, a relative bearing on that bittern. Um, I don't really trust the distance, but I would say, at a pinch... It would be... 64 hectometers, give or take a pretty big piece of salt. Uh, so 64 hectometers at 287 relative. That would put him right in. F uh, you, that was the bitter. That was the bitter. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much dead on what we were getting before. Marvelous. Okay. Ooh, so. Nice. What? I like it. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I said, look at that plot. I like it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we take Nav very seriously here. <laughs> Mostly because me and Anarian both, depending on who's actually doing the Nav, <laughs> or uh, Navigator mains. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I... wait, till, wait till Celestial hits, boys. Oh, yeah, that's oh. going to be fun. <laughs> actually, you should have seen before. Oh, yeah, I got to look that up. Yeah, you do. Just, uh, before Stoz, we were up the top on the bridge, and I said down to Nutster, I said, come up and get some air, and he's like, no, I'd rather stay hunched over my table, thanks very much. <laughs> nice, there you go. Right. I want to be left alone with my table I've and always, Yeah, I've always been like that, because there's more <laughs> options on the nav on the table itself, so, yeah. Um, yeah, when people are like, oh, I want to go up on top, I was like, yeah, I'll stay down here and be the be the second guy with the dive officer, I'll be down <laughs> here. Dougal and, and I had a long discussion today about we were we were dreaming about an open world U-boat simulator oh. and uh, implementing celestial navigation in it. He was intrigued. I was like, "Well, oh, God, you know." And then at the end, it was like, "Oh yeah." Then reality sets in, and it's like this is probably never going to happen. But yeah, we can dream. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna, I'm just fiddling on the map now as well. I'm sorry, Nav. I'm, 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 I'm scribbling on here too. Uh, so that's oh, I can just uh, turn your, turn whatever your yeah. things are. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you can. And I'm expecting you to do that. I'm just putting, um, I'm just putting on a spot where that bitten's gonna be at 17. Oh shit! No, that's not. That's gonna be 17:50. Just a, just a half hour lead time on him. Um, alright, okay, so, uh, Helm, bring us back to a course of 272, please. Um, take us up to crate speed. 272i. Versus 272, going to great speed ahead. Great speed ahead is set. Thank you. Good, we've got a little bit more distance now. They've hazed out a bit, that's good. Um, move away from that starboard escort. Mm -hmm. Right. So 
we should be traveling what? About 18 months. Just under this. should be at 56. So, what did you say he was at? No, oh, no, 63. No. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Thank you. Yep. Yep, 63. Uh, dead on. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Well, yeah, we got a line there that's going for, what, 50,000 meters. Oh. <laughs> uh, there we go, that's it. Because I needed a line, and, uh... Ah, yeah, got it. And I couldn't remember what you said for, for the range, so... Yep. But I was pretty confident in our plot, so I just wanted to see where the two lines intersected, and 5,000 meters wasn't going to work. 5,000 is, 5, is usually my default for when I'm um, plotting course lines. Okay, cool. I'll just put a line out uh, 5,000 meters in front of whatever I'm plotting. Yep, okay, good to know. So, and fifty and 5,000 meters wasn't going to work, so I just hit a zero. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so hopefully. Hopefully. No other lead escort pops out of nowhere. That's the only one we have to deal with. Um, if anyone's near the TDC, can you please tell me what the reading is for the angle and bow? On it. <clears throat> no, that's too far. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write it. That's weird. Angle on bow is... Uh, dead 90 right. Perfect, thank you. Yep, he's uh, he's just gone past the, our primary target, heavy tanker type 11, has just gone past the 270 degree mark, so we're just pulling ahead of it now. Uh, I should say, when you dive, uh, what's your SOP typically on that? Obviously, I'm going to hit the forward vents, because I'm down here already, but who typically gets the aft, I guess, how do you typically run that? Oh, okay. Well, um, usually it's whoever's closest. But uh, Nutster, if you um, if you want to grab the um, the aft vents, uh, the aft uh, okay. the yep. tank when we uh, when we do do the dive, please. Uh, yeah, yep. that's typically what I usually do. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Very good. And um, yeah, so when I say to go to when, when I uh, call us out to go to periscope depth, bring us to thirteen point five meters. Roger. And. And then. Yep. Do you typically, you'll typically say hatch closed, or I, I guess what's the, uh, what's my order to flood? Yeah, so I'll, um, I'll say, I'll say, um, say prepare to dive and dive. Um, I'll be the last one to come down off the bridge. Um, so yep. you can start flooding the tanks then. Um, and then I'll Perfect. yell out when the, uh, the hatch is closed. Uh, if anyone's left up on the bridge at that point, then, well, may, may God have mercy on you. Yeah, that's one for the fish. Yep, okay. <laughs> one for the fish, exactly. Um, 
Yep. And if you can call out, uh, I, I, so that I can reset the odometer. If you can call out when we're passing ten meters, that would be great. Sure. Yep. I'll, I'll call out regular, regular. That way, uh, I get just like a second or two warning of oh, we're, it's going to uh, going below. Okay. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do individual. Assuming we go deeper than twenty meters, I'll do individual meters up to twenty, and then I'll do it in increments of ten. Yeah, I mean you can do it. You can do it if if you want, but I only really care about ten, 10 meters because the boat, uh, the icon disappears about ten point five. Yeah. So. Yep. That makes sense. Yep. Yep. And I will blow negative at about that point too. So you'll, once you hear that, if I do forget to say it, then that's about what it's going to be. But I'll make sure I'll make a point of saying it. Okay. Um, and usually, uh, yeah, when um, when we go to dive and you switch across to the uh, switch across to the electrics at, at your discretion, um, and just uh, normally put them on just uh, half speed as we go under, um, unless sure. it's an okay. emergency uh, crash dive, in which case, yeah, it's full throttle. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Half speed sounds good. Cool. Yep. Just want to get on the same page. Every boat does things differently, so. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for asking. Mm-hmm. It's uh, good to remind ourselves of, of the of what we're all gonna do because even though we're all on the same boat and have done this a few times, it's good to good to refresh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Nav, I'm gonna give you a um, a new. I'm pretty happy with the 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 the, the, um, the range, but I'm gonna give you a relative bearing. And actually, I will give you a bit of a range on that. That bit. Um, okay, so the range is going to be 54 hectometers at relative bearing 269. 54 at 269. At the bittern, that's a little off. Or, well, I guess he could be... Eh, it's 500 meters. 55, or 550 meters. Yeah, it's it could not, be, it could be zigzagging. Not the possible. Plus, I'm basing that on the funnel and the one center radian, so we've got a, we've got a bit of a margin of error on that. As long as it's within the ballpark. <coughs> I mean, it's inside of the convoy, so it's just on the very, I would say it's on the outer edge based on what we've been seeing and the, uh, where the tribal was, uh, not the tribal, um, the flower. Uh, okay. Although, yeah, can you give me a range and bearing to the, the flower as well? Yes. Let's see if I can find, oh yep, he's got a bit of a fair way away now. I would say the flower was gosh, flower I'd say was sixty four hectometers at two three two relative. Sixty four at two three two. Does that look right? That looks good for me. Good, 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 good. So now, now leading that at that lead escort ever so slightly. Yeah, that was a bit short, wasn't it? Uh, 
half an hour at. Uh, I'll wait, no where it's. And that same time, half an hour, will put us way out there. All right. So we'll definitely, uh, probably, let's see, where's 20? 20 would be about, 20 would be about there. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think in probably 20 minutes be safe to to turn in yep at least 20 maybe even 15 15 being, eh, 15 might no because they're only gonna be halfway there yeah i think 15 i think 15 we can start turning yes um they will be 15 we'll put 15 we'll put them right here Okay, that's the lead. Uh, uh, let me see. One. Yeah, this can go away. Uh, yes, that one it would be the lead, the bittern there. Okay. So that that should be the 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 one in the middle there should be roughly. I just eyeballed where halfway was. Based on your line there, yeah. um, okay. That should be where, and we should be. Fifteen would be this one here. So this is kind of what we're looking at. Uh, We'd be yeah. okay. Well, well ahead. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we'd be probably. Geez, we'd be seven kilometers in front of them, so we can probably. Yeah. We'll cut in sooner than that. Um, so what we'll do is. Um, what's the, what's your, uh, estimated distance between the lead, um, in terms of the course line of that lead escort and the heavy tanker 11, um, sort of that perpendicular distance between them, if that makes sense, like the column distance yeah, yeah. between them. Yeah, I need a second. I need to extend my lines out a bit. And quite generally, uh, probably about uh, turn my about s a little under seven hundred meters. That's pretty good. Okay, so we'll stay on the out. We won't need to get into. Uh, we won't need to get into the convoy for this one. Um, I think. Yeah. If we if we shoot if we go in. Between fifteen, take a fifteen hundred. Mm, no. If we did a, I'm trying to think because I, I, I guess I don't know how far behind. Can you give me a quick, just two bearings? Give me a bearing to the, uh, to. The heavy tanker 11 first, and then the uh, the bittern um, as quickly as possible. I mean, uh, yeah. closer together. So I've got the bittern, which is 248 relative. Fine. Uh, yeah. 248. Yeah, but unfortunately, okay. the heavy tanker has disappeared from view. So. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, we it's, can. It's gone. That's right. Okay. Um, the, when we go to turn in, when we when we see that, I can get an idea of how far of, of where they are relative to each other to give us an idea of kind of how close we need to cut it. Okay. Um, we can get a little bit. We can start to cut in a little bit now. Um, we'll just go to uh, to uh, half speed. Help, please. Half speed. And bring us into a new heading of 240. I'm going to 240. We're a comfortable distance from this lead escort, so. We're going to lag 
taking a little bit here. No, no. 240. Thank you, thank you. How's everyone else's connection going? Yeah, I'm pretty good as well. There will not be any legs here. <laughs> Steady on two three zero. Copy that, thank you. Uh, what speed <coughs> are we on currently, please? About twelve point two knots. Okay, that's on. Is that on great speed? That is on half. Half speed. Okay. Right. Slow speed, please. Slow speed. Slow speed is set. Yes. Just let them catch up a bit until we get visual on that, that heavy taker again. Okay, let's be, uh, I'm just going to head down to the latrine. Uh, Yammers, keep an eye out. It's free, it looks like. Fluctuates depending. Could be as far as 1,100 meters outside of the side of the track of the heavy tanker. The 1,600 mark. Um, what is that? 1,600. Oh, uh, I'm guessing. He puts an he puts an intercept point. I think I, I remember. I, when I was sitting in with him one other time, he puts an intercept point, his point of shooting. He shoots the plans out until the point he shoots, which I've never seen done before, but it's great that he does that. But I wonder if that's what that is. He, like, uh, dead reckons the course. Now. He, like, dead reckons the convoy forward. And yeah, essentially... I, I think that's what it is. Like Dead reckoning them forward, but then also that's the visual detection range at given oh. point, so <clears throat> sure. 4,000 being yeah. visual detection range, roughly, or basically the circle to avoid. So, so he's going to try to skirt the outside of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that makes sense. So, on as far as stock is concerned, did did they change the visual range, or didn't they? Because I'm getting mixed reports. Uh, I People know. seeming like they... I, I don't know. It, it, to be quite honest, I have not played a lot recently other than this um I've, yeah. I've played a few a few runs but unless i'm unless i'm running with people that i'm running i'm not doing it just for my you know just soloing or running my own boat because you know 400 hours but um when i was this you know this could be a little while back. But unless they did a sort of a, a revamp that they didn't tell us about, it was always about, uh, I want to say about 3,500 meters. Sure, exactly. It's about 3,500. We would usually play it safe out to about 4,000. Skirt right about 4,000 uh, from everything. Um, you could get down to 35, maybe even 30, 30. Situation. 
I think it varies. I think there's a bunch of Well, and see, that's the thing. And I'm not sure how much the people that are saying this because... I don't know how much they've played and how much they've actually... <laughs> not sure. I don't know how much they're they're knowing. I don't know how much they they know what they're talking about, just depending on who it is. That, that's kind of why I asked who actually said that. I will say that these people that are saying all these things, like, I've never heard you before, like, and how, how much experience you actually have, because there's people saying, yeah, I got spotted at 6,500 meters. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> How good are you at actually measuring how far away? Because speed distances can change by hundreds of meters in a matter of seconds. The only way that you can really tell is with experience and actually measuring that kind of stuff constantly over and over again. So I'm not sure that I believe. Can I believe that they switch something, you know, in a patch that they didn't tell us? Sure, because I'm pretty sure they've done that before. But I don't know about 500 meters. 500 meters is awfully far away, away for them to be spotted. You're talking about a what, two meter by ten meter metal can that is going to blend into the gray sea behind it from five kilometers. What? Three miles away? Yeah, I, I, I don't see that. Now, that's that's in more realistic, I, I guess, a realistic way of looking at it. But I don't, I don't know what they programmed. But even that, both in experience and realistic, doesn't seem right. Sorry, yeah. Uh, so well, I mean, two seven two. Uh, no, but I've got it. That means that the lead escort is only about a thousand meters in front of. Yep, I can this distance right here. Going based on what you have there. Uh, and. That's good. Uh, I kind of gave you a little bit of misinformation. It's partly true, partly not. Uh, based on zigzags, the, it could be anywhere from 700 meters at the closest to up to 11 or 1200 meters uh, on the farther zigzag, uh, the, per, that perpendicular distance you were asking about earlier. So anywhere between 12 and 7. Alright, Thanks. about whether to get inside the lead escort, closer to the tanker, or further out. I'm tempted to say further out because I want to, because we're going to do a side shot, but I want to stop traveling on the Yeah, to avoid the risk of circle runners. We need to be traveling at about seven knots. So you have, you have three fish left. Yeah. You're planning on just go, going for a thick target with a salvo three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Simple enough. All or nothing on this one. Um, the yeah, the heavy tanker type eleven is our target, um, and that's the best positioned one. Um, Do you have it saved? Heavy tanker. Yeah, it should be in the spreadsheet. Type <laughs> Ah yeah, fourteen thousand tons. Uh, that'll do it. Oh yeah, that's that's good mm -hmm. enough for me. Um, and I'm just now contemplating whether we try to sneak in front on the inside of the convoy or not. 
But yes. <laughs> was that a my yes? Old, my old, my old method. <laughs> yeah. Not mine. 